it's tuh. Tuh. Like, you tuh. really gotta put you your emphasis in. Yeah, you're not saying tua, you're saying tuh. It's a bit cringe, isn't it? All right, so we've all seen the original video. Not by choice, obviously. Personally, my fist squeezes itself inside of itself every single time I see the clips of her. Based off our two second clip that we've all seen, again, not by choice, she's managed to make merch, she's managed to make a podcast and a lot of money. How are they already milking it by making entire podcasts about her? Time to talk. Check out my podcast every week. Talk to her. If there's new episodes every single Tuesday for the next few months, that is just incredible. How will anyone care after a week? Where I'm sitting down with the coolest guests and having actual conversations with them. Ah yes, I can't wait for the actual conversations, the intellectual deep dives, because you're the one with the big questions for the controversial figures of today. When she posted this, she really got to this guy right here. He wasn't having any of it. But I want to bring your attention to her merch, because it's so terrible. Now, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want members of the public wearing shirts like this if it was me. Each to their own, though, I guess. We all have different ways to impress our parents. However, onto the podcast. Her special guest is this Whitney Cummings lass, who I've never heard of. I searched her up. Apparently, she's a comedian. I watched some of this podcast, right? Not all of it because I would have kind of shot myself. She didn't say one thing that could be considered even a joke, never mind funny. People to know when I'm pissed off at them. I want yeah. them to know when I'm mad and I realized that when I had Botox, I didn't have any wrinkles so I would be like mad at somebody and they'd be like, anyway. She's just rambling on about Botox. Who even cares? Thing is, if you're a comedian, you don't want to be quick to anger and that's what you are. You don't have a sense of humor and that's what you need to have. You bring comedians on to be funny and you are so boring. That would be a little spooky. I think just imagine if Chelsea said hot to and not you that night. I... Would, would Chelsea be sitting in that chair? I would not have dealt with it as good as you did. Well, so the difference would be it would be a different white girl sat there with the same boring topics. That really would be no difference at all. Thing is right, the topics in this video are grim and I see this Haley lass trying to recreate what she said in different words and it's just cringe. It's all just cringe. Right, anyway, moving on. Baiting out videos, UK. The UK is fascinating. Got this post from a totally legitimate Sanford police account making threats against the UK's residents. Imagine seeing the screenshot before Hot Fuzz came out and being told it's not altered in the slightest. But let's watch this one. Why is she named after a car company? I don't know, you know. Oh, probably because she gets moved about a lot and guys just like to ride. <laughs> That big nasty clip plays for 38 seconds. It's overplayed enough in baiting out videos as it is. 38 seconds is too much. You can't do that. Come on, man. Hey, bro, you set me up. Can I give you a little? Yeah, yeah. No, no. And what did she do? This is the worst baiting out video I've ever seen, by the way. At least Van Banters and other people are funny. What do you do, though? She just frees it up with a man them. Give man them lineups and stuff and just begs it from man long story short. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't know what it means to give man them lineups. I have no idea. Perhaps I don't speak the beautiful cockney rhyming slang of East London. Bait out the biggest skit, you know. Right, well, they look about 12. Who on earth are they going to be baiting out? She just sends bare boys arch picks in that. Is it? Yeah. Well, how do you how do you feel, bro? Like talking about your mum like that? Not gonna lie, mate, that was a little bit uncalled for. I mean, you could have sent it to all those fellas that were past the age of thirteen, but no, you chose to say it to a guy who shouldn't even be in London without parental permission. They are the biggest skit you know. Bro. Twin sister said she gave head to some boy. Is it? Was it your dad? And there he goes again, picking on kids. Look how confused the kid is as well. It's a bit cowardly, like. I walked in in a room of her, my boy. I Listen, see these females, man. Well, you know exactly what I'm going to say. It's kind of obvious. You didn't have anything to joke about with them lot, did you? Probably because you knew that you wouldn't see that microphone ever again if you said out to them. But kids who aren't even halfway through big school, no, I'll make jokes about them. I also want to bring your attention to this right here. So there was a little trend on Twitter, Barclays men. So what it is, is like football players, like streets won't forget ones from the last 12 years ago. No more recent than that. Not players from the massive clubs, players from like good clubs. You know, like not the Man United's or Chelsea's route. We're talking like QPR and Newcastle and them. But it's a decent trend. This guy, however, didn't get it. He saw a trend based on players like Michu, Ben Arthur and Hugo Rodriguez, and he made a Spanish one based on some of the best players ever. He's completely missed the point. Like yes, we don't need reminding that Ronaldo, Messi and Dani Alves were better than Grant Holt and Adel Tarat. We run about players that are from clubs that would never win the league that excited us when we watched them. Luckily he realised a day later. However, there's one last thing that I want to show you and it's quite cool. Just a load of dad jokes to be fair. So we've got pick up and drop off. I run far, because he's a runner. <laughs> that's a joke. Page Turner. And then we've got Thomas Lawyer who died in Lawyersville who was a lawyer. But anyway, that's the end of the video, so if you've enjoyed, please do like, share the video if you can, and I will see you all next time, in a bit.